Thank you, Panos. How y'all doing this morning? Oh, we're awake. We're percolating. That's awesome. You ready to see this phone? Are you ready to see the phone now? All right, now check it out. I'm going to jump right in. I have a lot to cover. So uh, the first thing I want to start with is what you would probably start out doing on your phone first. That's unlocking it, signing into it. Uh, you've probably likely heard of Windows Hello, the biometric authentication method that we've brought to Windows 10 PCs recently. It's that personal fun experience. I mean, for me, who has an Xbox right now? Make some noise. Yeah? It blew my mind and made me smile the first time I stood in front of my Kinect and it just smiled and said, hey, Brian. I was like, oh, me, that was great. When I saw that on PC, it lit up. And we're bringing that to, in beta to Windows Phone. So I'm, I'm going to show you Windows Hello Beta now running on a phone. Very simple experience. You'll see, uh, I'm going to show you that unlock experience now. When I pick up this phone, it's going to look for me just like that. Hey, Brian. And just like that, it unlocks. It was that fast. What do you think about that? I know. We're going to jump right in now. I want to walk you through just a couple things in the UI now. Uh, looks like we're going to get that up. Now, here we go. Uh, okay, so now, pay attention to my live, my live tiles here. Pay attention to this menu because I'm going to anchor you to this in a second. There's my little son, Max, at his birthday. Office mobile that's free included with Windows Phone. Uh, you know, universal apps that are going to scale and look great. Just take a look at that and take it in uh, because I'm going to call back to this in a second here. Um, I have a text message that I just noticed I got. This is a guy named Todd. He's like, Brian, I know you're traveling, but you owe me a deck. You got to do some stuff. You know it's bad in the work world when they start texting you. It probably means you missed a bunch of mail in the box. They're mad at you. So, so I got to get some stuff done. This is a point where I need some, maybe some PC-like productivity, okay? And with Continuum for phone, I'm empowered to have that. I'm empowered to, to really use my phone like a PC. But how does that work? How do I do that? Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you. Right now, I'm going to hold this up for you. This is the Microsoft Display Dock. Okay, this dock will enable me to connect my phone via that USB Type-C connection right there and utilize a large monitor, keyboard, and mouse with these little nice ports, okay, uh, to get a PC-like experience. Now, for the sake of the demo, just to save some time, I've already set one up here and plugged it into this monitor, keyboard, and mouse, so that's, that's what's going on here. But let's take a look at that experience now. Okay, what you're seeing looks like a Windows 10 desktop, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Chris, you might even be thinking, Brian, maybe you're tricking me with some demo magic. Maybe that's not really your phone. This is my phone, and I can prove it in a couple ways. Up here, you can see my signal bars. I only got one because we're in this deep building. So, so there you go. Uh, here we go. Uh, I got start. These right here are my live tiles from the phone that I showed you earlier. Remember that? Remember my little son, Max? Remember Office? These, this is my phone start menu because this is my phone. I'm going to keep hammering that back on you. This is my phone pushing this experience. All right? So now, remember Todd told me I had a mail to open. I'm going to open up this mail app now and actually click the, oh my gosh, y'all are blowing up Twitter. I forgot that my demo account <laughs> is my Twitter handle. That was bad. Let me scroll down there. Cool. Here's my mail from Todd. Uh, and you can see I have a couple, couple documents here. What I'm going to do now is just open up some stuff to get ready to get productive. I'm going to open up Word with a double click because there's something in there I got to get to to do. Uh, and now once that loads, remember this is, look, this is the Word Universal uh, mobile app, Word Mobile. It's now scaling. This is the one that comes on the phone. It's scaling to look great on this screen. And look, all the functionality you expect is there. The welcome back message is there with one click. It takes me to where I, where I was in this document last, right? And I want to go back and open some other stuff. So how do I multitask? More PC-like experience. Look down here. My taskbar has my icons like you'd expect. The one that's running is highlighted like you would expect. With one click on Outlook, I can jump to that app and utilize it like you would expect on a PC, except this is actually a what? It's a phone. That's right. So I'll double click PowerPoint now to open that up because I'm getting my stuff ready. Got to get this deck done because Todd's texting me in the middle of this, so it must be super important. Uh, and right now, I just want to pause. This is pretty cool. I showed you the taskbar, but look, I can bring up this task switcher and also bring that up. Who's used this task switcher on Windows 10 right now? It looks the same. Okay, now, I'm going to pause before I do the actual cool office stuff that I'm going to show you with the copy and pasting. Just to prove to you that my phone is, is, is powering this, uh, we're going to cut now to a side-by-side. -side. I'm going to show you, while I'm doing this, my phone is still a phone. You can see up here I'm connected to my monitor. But look, I can go back to my start menu, I can navigate things, I could open up and start texting people. My actual phone experience is not broken while I'm utilizing the desktop experience of Continuum. And neither is the one here. Each experience is in, in, independent and uninterrupted. 
So you're not blocked on any front, but the phone is powering this whole thing. Uh, now, while I have this open side by side, I want to show you something kind of cool. I talked about the power of these universal apps, how they can scale to screen sizes. Watch this. Right here on my monitor, the phone is pushing the Outlook universal app, right? Watch this. I'm going to open it on the phone, and you're actually going to see it collapse and scale down to the phone. That's the power of a, of a universal app in action. This app does not care what screen size it is. It just adapts in real time and looks great. What do you think of that? Yeah. But now. I got to do some stuff in PowerPoint. So let me, let me get into the nitty gritty and actually show you this. Um, I'm going to jump over to Word because I have to put a table in the middle of this deck. That's what the mail said. So look at this. Here's Word. I want to put this table there. Guess what? I can select it. And even though my phone is powering this, I can use all the keyboard shortcuts I'm familiar with. So actually on my keyboard now, we're going to cut to a camera where you can see my hand. Make sure that that comes up there. I actually am going to do old control uh, C. And guess how I'll switch? How about I try a little bit of alt tab just to jump over to PowerPoint. Alt tab on my phone to switch between office apps. That's insane. And I'll just go ahead and do control V to paste that table. I am not fitting the purple, I, even though I'm wearing it. So maybe I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. I'm going to jump to the little slate there and get the rich formatting of the table the way that I want it. It's easy to move it into place. Okay, is that insane? The phone is doing this. How could we possibly, how could we possibly make this more like a PC? I, there's one little way. Okay, I love the cloud. I use the cloud all the time. It's important to me. But I'm paranoid sometimes. I don't know about you. I'm always, always worried that I'm going to get an email from old Todd or somebody when I'm away from internet or away from a way to connect, right? So a lot of folks like me still, just as a backup, maybe carry USB drives, maybe like to expand memory in their phone like Panos talked about. We want to have our stuff with us. So what's really awesome is this Microsoft Display Dock allows me to connect USB and removable media to it and utilize it with this desktop-like experience. And check this out. I'll just go to Insert and a picture. And now it defaults to the photo app because I did choose pictures. But look, I can choose a location and there's my Lexar thumb drive. Just like that, I can choose that drive, come in and by the way, I can hold control to select the stuff that I want to or shift and I can bring in these graphics. Now check it out. These are fully transparent PNGs that I just brought in from a thumb drive powered by my phone into PowerPoint that looks like a desktop because I can be productive like a boss wherever I am now. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm, I'm glad you're excited. I don't want to just talk about work, though, because we, we like to play, too. We play on the phones. This is an amazing device for entertainment consumption. You want to watch your videos, you want to stream stuff, this is awesome. Number one, of course, you can co connect to modern monitors wirelessly for a great video streaming experience. That's great. Um, but you've seen stuff like that. What I really want to call out here is the fact that this phone is actually connected to this display, but display dock means I'm getting full HDMI out of the back of this. That means I have full 1080p video. That means I have full, robust, ground-shaking audio coming out of that. And just to prove it to you, what I'm going to do is go over here and play this Jurassic World trailer. Listen to this. What? It's not I'm gonna stop that there. It's a relationship. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that trailer now. I'll click to stop that. Oh, did you hear that? That's insane. That's coming from a phone, folks. If you want to be productive at the top level, if you want to consume entertainment at the top level, these devices are built to let you do it. And only Windows is enabling these experiences I'm showing you right now for Continuum for Phone and that power of the HDMI out of that dock. Folks, did you like what you saw today? Well, I'm glad. I'm Brian Panos. I'm done, brother. Where you at, Pete? Come on back. Thank you, folks. That's my time. Thanks,